handballs, bites and many goals, Luis Suarez ends his dramatic career with Uruguay. Luis Suarez could not hold back his tears as he announced to the world that his eventful international career had come to an end after 17 years. In front of the majestic crown at the Centenario Stadium in Montevideo on Friday, Suarez will play for his beloved country for the 143rd and final time in the 2026 World Cup qualifiers against Paraguay. If all goes well, the all-time top scorer for the Uruguayan national team will add to his tally of 69 goals, bringing a fitting end to a career that saw him reach his highest levels by winning the Copa America title and also his lowest levels by being suspended for biting an opposing player in the World Cup. Suarez, who now plays in Major League Soccer with Inter Miami alongside former Barcelona teammates Lionel Messi, Sergio Busquets and Jordi Alba has participated in four World Cups and five Copa America tournaments. It is difficult for me to say this, but Friday will be my last match with my national team, Suarez said in a tearful press conference on Monday. I have decided to retire because I want to step aside. I am 37 years old, there are a lot of talented players, and I know it will be difficult to reach the next World Cup. It's comforting to know that I can retire on my own terms without having to retire due to injuries or not being called up. I want to say goodbye here, with my people. This is the perfect moment. Suarez's first match for Uruguay marked the beginning of future controversies as he wears his country's colors. During Uruguay's 3-1 friendly win over Colombia in 2007, Suarez was sent off late in the match for dissent after legendary Uruguayan coach Oscar Taberas awarded him his first international cap. But four years later the pinnacle of Suarez's glory came when he led Uruguay to Copa America glory, scoring both goals in a 2-0 semi-final win against Peru. He also scored in the final, which ended with Uruguay's 3-0 victory over Paraguay. Thanks to his performance in Argentina, he was named player of the tournament after finishing second in the top scorers list with four goals, behind only Peru's Paulo Guerrero and ahead of Sergio Aguero, three goals, and Neymar and Radamel Falcao, two goals for Brazil and Colombia respectively. I don't want to trade the Copa America title for anything else, he said. It was the best moment of my career. At the 2010 World Cup in South Africa, Suarez, who scored three goals in the tournament, including two in his country's round of 16 win over South Korea, was sent off in the quarterfinal match against Ghana. Late in extra time, he blocked Dominic Adia's header on its way to the goal, which would have made the Black Stars the first African team to reach the semi-finals of a World Cup. Then Asamoa Gan missed the next penalty kick, and Uruguay won on penalties but lost in the next round to the Netherlands. I don't apologize for that, he insisted before the two teams faced off again at the 2022 World Cup in Qatar, which Uruguay won 2-0. I apologize if I hit a player but I received a red card for handball. It was not my fault because I did not miss the penalty kick. But it was the 2014 World Cup in Brazil that saw the peak of his fame despite a qualifying campaign that saw him top the scoring charts with 11 goals, one ahead of his future Barcelona teammate Messi. Nine minutes before the end of the group stage match against Italy, Suarez bit Italy's defender Giorgio Cialini, and referee Marco Rodriguez did not notice this despite the defender's protest, who pointed to visible teeth marks on his shoulder. The International Federation of Association Football, FIFA, imposed a nine-match suspension on Suarez due to this incident, which is the longest suspension in the history of the World Cup. Surprisingly, this is the third time that Suarez has been suspended due to similar incidents after he received severe penalties during his club career for biting PSV Eindhoven player Ausmain Bakel when he was playing for Ajax in 2010, and for biting Chelsea player Branislav Ivanovic in 2013 while being in Liverpool. My fear has always been that the image of me that remains in the minds of my children and all Uruguay fans will be the image of 2014. I have overcome that. I hope that people will forget too and that they will be left with all the great moments I had in our stadium and all the things our team achieved, in Copa America, in the World Cup. Suarez featured in this summer's Copa America, but coach Marcelo Bielsa used him largely as a substitute although his stoppage time goal against Canada and the penalty in the resulting shootout helped Uruguay to third place. He added, 
My dream was for my children to see me win something important with the national team, that last goal, even if it was not a trophy for them to take home, it was very beautiful for them. I wanted to show people again that I can continue to contribute to the national team, well, I played in the Copa America, and yes, I could have done it, retired, perfectly after that, but after analyzing the situation, I want to do it with my people, in my playground. I want my children to have this experience. Saying goodbye to people here is something I don't know if many of them have done.